Hello, hello. What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Paul. The fifth. And the most interesting things happened to me. Yesterday, I had to get my vehicle fixed. So they told me it would take pretty much all day to troubleshoot the issue. So I get there about 7.30 a.m. I am not a morning person. So they say, can you have your keys? Naturally, I hand them my keychain. Well, I forgot to take off the keys for my apartment. So I was here yesterday from 8.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. I'm getting tired. I'm thinking, I'm gonna just catch an Uber home. I look in my pockets and I realize I gave the vehicle repair place the keys to my apartment. Long story short, I crashed here last night, so I didn't get much sleep. So if I'm looking crazy, I apologize. Now for today's topic. Today happens to be Tuesday, December the 8th. Sunday, I began backing up my iMac, which we see here. Well, we're making some progress. Not much. We're at 2.43 gigs of 419. We're gonna have a ways to go still. It was taking an extremely long time and I let it go. And when I came back yesterday, Monday, it was only at like 10 gigs of the 420. Interesting number, right? So yesterday I was here filming some things and my computer went to sleep. The backup crashed. I tried numerous times throughout the day, didn't work. So yesterday when I realized I had to stay here for the night, I hooked up the iMac to a different hard drive and it backed up successfully. I got to sleep probably about 4.30 a.m. and got up about nine when I got a call from the vehicle place. So here's our results. Today is Tuesday the 8th, it's 12.45 p.m. It said the last backup was at 12.37 p.m. and the next backup is today at 1.32. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the new Mac Mini M1, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD. And then we'll get things going. And I have a filming this afternoon with an A-list celebrity that plays guitar. His entire family is known. I'm so excited. I'll be posting that video soon. Make sure you check it out. Here we go. go, go. What's good? I'm about to move the iMac over just a little bit, and then that way we can connect the Mac Mini. Here's the Mac Mini's new home. She's been sitting there patiently while I got the iMac backed up. That happened successfully this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Satechi USB-C external ports. And in the back there is my four terabyte external hard drive. We'll be setting that up as well. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. No more slow backups. All right, this is setting up the power grid for external hard drive and the Mac Mini. All right, guys, I am actually underneath the desk here hooking up another power grid for our Mac Mini and the external hard drive here. So if you hear me bumping around, there we go. That's on, that's in, and now we're on, lovely, my name is oh, Paul Paul I hurt myself, ouch, nope, alright, here we go, here comes the power cord for our hard drive. One, two, three. Ah, here's our USB. 
That's an odd looking port. Let's plug this guy in. Mm, smells just, ah, smell of newness. Any profanities? Well, you just laugh at me. Okay. Here's our cable. Plugging right into here. And then the other thing. Here's the USB C hub. Place this right on top like that. This pulls right out. Like so. And we'll plug that right into one of these ports. Adapters. All right, we just have a few more cables to connect to our install currently, one being our power source. This is our Satechi USB C hub going straight from the hub to the back of the Mac Mini. The next cable is another USB C. I have an adapter. This is a Thunderbolt to USB C adapter. I'm connecting my Thunderbolt cable from my main interface to so the Apogee Element 88 into that. Plugging that right in here. The next cable is an HDMI cable. The back of this cable is connected to my brand new 50 inch Vizio TV that I'm using as a monitor. And our fourth and final cable is just a standard USB cable and it's connected to our four terabyte external hard drive. That's it. All right, we just ejected the hard drive from the iMac. Let's go ahead and plug that in to the Satechi USB-C hub. Turn the Mac Mini on for the first time. So migration assistant. You want to transfer your information from a Mac time machine back up a startup disk. Yes. I don't know how long this is going to take. Transfer information to this Mac. Legacy Studio. I am so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like iCloud for your computers. This is so dope. Whoever came up with this idea is a genius. It's now 2.11, saying we have an hour and three minutes remaining. I am so stoked to try this M1 Mac Mini out and see how fast it actually performs. Here we go, migration complete. Might as well share analytics. Fire vault disk encryption. Setting up your Mac. My first Mac mini, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And it's quick. Let's pull up a logic session. I've used logic before. Okay, so it's downloading some files right now. All right, cool. Let's pull up. It's got my Apogee Control, iMovie. Oh my gosh, I can edit iMovie on here. There we go, here's some downloads. Let's go to... Oh my gosh. Good, everybody. This is your boy, Paul. 
Oh my gosh, this is so fast. Like no lag. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this computer. There we go, making some progress now. All right, we are back. Had to shut things down for a little bit. I had a photo shoot and filming with a good friend of mine. He's a known Nashville player. His name is Reggie Wooten. His entire family are fabulous musicians and world renowned as well. This is my first impressions of the new Mac Mini M1 Silicon. Here we go, real time. I had to turn things off. Let's turn the Mac back on. I love that sound, Paul of Fiat. I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this new Mac Mini with the M1 chip versus my late 2015 27 inch iMac with an i5 processor. It has eight gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage on the hard drive. Let's pull up Safari. Wow, Avid. Now that looks dope. Let's see if Logic is installed all the way. So this, yeah, loading up Logic is pretty incredible. Like if we just go up here, that's pretty sick. There's our mixer. I mean, that was instant. I mean, that's really pretty dope. All right, let's pull up another website. Let's try Sweetwater. That was incredible. Let's pull up an iMovie. All right, for the first time, it just tells us what's new. That was quick. That was yesterday. Let's see if my Apogee is connected. I have to go through this earlier today with Rosetta. This is gonna let me install Rosetta. Awesome. That was quick. Alrighty, we are doing a comparison test. Let's try and pull up Logic. Here we go, Pinwheel of Death. Kind of stuck. That's definitely not good for any music producer. There's definitely some lag between going back and forth between the mixer. So definitely big difference there. Let's pull up iMovie, we already had that up. That's been running pretty smooth. Let's try Safari. Not bad. We'll try Avid's website. Part of that could be the internet here. It's not the greatest. So overall, big difference between this iMac and the Mac Mini as far as speed goes. And I don't know if you could hear this earlier, but this thing was running and it was so loud. Logic, iMovie, and Safari are gonna be the three major things that I'll be using on my new system here, other than Pro Tools and some other uh, music recording software. 
So am I happy that I made this purchase? For the little bit of time that I played with this today, hell yeah. Was it worth the $2,400 customized? <laughs> hell yeah it was. I mean, this is just the beginning. I don't know the ins and outs. I know that this is completely cool. While I'm not a big spec guy, I do understand what it all means. But for me, simply put, this new Mac Mini is fast, it's efficient, it's quiet, and it holds its own under the pressure. My laptop gets hot. Like, I'm scared to set it on my lap because I feel like it's gonna burn a hole in my jeans. So I am so excited to see how this is gonna help me here. And that'll be coming December 31st. Now, my Mac Mini was supposed to come on December 1st and I got it on November 27th, so we will see. Overall, I am stoked that I made this purchase. I'm excited to put this thing to the test this coming week and in the months ahead. I'm so excited to be able to render big iMovie files as well as massive Pro Tools and Logic sessions. I cannot wait. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be showing you what I call my rig rundown. It's gonna be a breakdown of everything that I have here and why I got it. So hopefully you'll be able to check that out and enjoy it as well. As always, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that bell. So anytime I drop a video, you're gonna be in the know and you'll be checking out what Paul the Fifth is up to. Much love, thanks for watching. My name is Paul the Fifth.